Well, the process the process has been very well. Uh, just getting a chance to come out here, uh, compete, play with other guys, older guys, getting a chance to know the system, and do the things that I have to do to play on this level because it's different coming out of high school. Did you anticipate getting as much playing time this early? Well, I mean, yeah, I did because I felt like I was a great athlete coming in. Because in high school, I just I just played great. I just always practiced great and did extra things to be a good player. Just kind of taking you Well, right now, Jadar Johnson, uh, him and Van Smith, and Cordray, all them, they they all just telling me to stay focused and like I'm gonna be a great player and things like that. How hard was it? Well, not so much overwhelmed, but they were just showing me like it's a different level. So that I was just I wasn't ready, but I was. It just it's just different. Like everything faster, bigger, and, and everybody stronger. So you just got to be prepared mentally. What has the competition been like between you and some of the veterans like Ryan and Marcus and Mark Fields? Oh, uh, the competition been great. I mean, we all just getting after it. Um, not so much, not so much like um, of. Well, I mean, I could say, like, we all just trying to compete. Everybody trying to get playing time. Everybody everybody actually playing. I mean, everybody not getting the same amount of playing time. But, I mean, we all compete and practice. Uh, it's just it's just different every week. Everybody get a different chance with playing time-wise. Do you feel like you guys are making each other better each week in practice? Yeah, I feel like we do. Because sometimes when people need help, we just go to someone else or just ask a question. If you're not sure, like, on the sideline, getting mental reps and things like that. Kind of his time a little bit, and then he made a big play against Louisville. Yeah. Is there something you can learn from all that? Well, I mean, yeah, in, in big time situations, you got to make plays. I mean, he he stood up. I mean, he got his chance, and he's showing that he was a great player. How hard is that balance when you talk about the individual competition, wanting what's best for the team, but also you want that spot? You each of you guys wants that playing time. Yeah, I mean, we do, but sometimes you just got to be patient. You, know, you just got to wait for your time. You got to compete. Uh, eventually, the coaches notice. See, like, like with me, I just compete every day in practice. No, uh, I study, go over film. I just do, I just do everything that I need to do to be a great player and, and get on the field. Yeah. As a scouting report on Trayvon Mullen, what do you do best right now? What have you gotten better at? And what do you think you have to do to earn more playing time? Well, right now, I'm just, I just what I do right now best is like. I play man-to-man -man coverage best. I like lining up and playing against receivers. I just feel like to get better uh, going further, I just got to pay attention to the little things, um, fix all my little mistakes. Uh, I don't feel like I got big mistakes. I just feel like I got to get bigger, uh, get stronger. Uh, the speed is there, the athletic ability and things like that. I just feel like I got to pay attention to the little details. You guys have an Oh yeah, I'm real excited. Uh, get a chance to go back home and play. I feel like I got a chance to keep getting better. Um, like I said, as the week go by, competing. Um, coaches notice. Like I play, I play a good amount against Boston College. So I feel like as the week going, like, I just get more and more reps. I imagine you have a lot of friends and competitors uh, yeah, with the right now. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I have a lot of friends. I mean, it's gonna be a great game. Well, right now I'll be playing both. I know both sides. So most times when I'm in, I just stay left and right or I travel, depending on who in the who I'm in the game with. Like if I'm in the game with Mark Fields, I'll just play boundary because he's more comfortable with Phil. Or if it's me and Ryan Carter, we'll probably do right and left. Or Marcus Edmond, I'll probably do boundary because he only plays Phil. It looks like you were playing Nickelback at one point on Friday as well. You were working at all on that spot. Oh, yeah, that's the Don. I was playing like Don. Yeah, I've been working a lot there. Coach been putting me in a lot at Don. Kind of more of an athletic guy. That was too decent. That was a quiet guy. Like, can you learn anything just from watching him and being around him? Yeah, I do. Cause he don't he don't talk much. Yeah, but you can see like the way he plays. He's aggressive. Uh, like on game day, he's just different. He's a different person. Game day, he'll talk more. But doing like practice week, he don't talk at all. But like game week, like you will see all all the energy it comes out of him. Like like he save up the energy just for game day.